Anyway, this is a two litre uh, Peugeot Traveller. I'm doing an oil change. <clears throat> Pull the dipstick and uh, open up the oil filter cup. <clears throat> okay, so these are uh, oil filters there. It's dead easy to spin off. Uh, but the sump doesn't have a sump plug as such. It's got a, a split pin that you take out. Oh dear, this was. And then, and this is a half turn. Let me get my bucket. I don't know what the point in that is. Well, simple enough idea, I suppose, but when you're used to sump plugs for 20 plus years, you don't really like change. <laughs> and, um, there'll be a new uh, O ring to go in there, and you should get a new split pin as well. So it's, I guess it is a simpler idea. Okay, so while that's draining, um, I will let the jack down so it's level. I just jacked up so I could show you. Um, yeah, I'll sit on the, the bucket and I'll whip the filter off at the same time so it can drain into the bucket. Uh, hang on, I need two hands for this. All right. A bit of luck. Any spillage will go in there. Lovely days. Now I'll drop the jack and I'll just leave that at drain for five minutes. I'll go and do something else. Now I've got the new filter here. Let's put a smear of clean oil on there. I'm using Marley filters. There's a part number if you want a Marley. This is the oil we're using. Um, right, so we'll go and put this back on and get some fresh oil in. All right, so I like to just give it a hit with brake cleaner. Now, this thing has been uh, neglected with servicing. So I just want to make sure everything's clean. As can be. Uh, clean up any oil spillages, obviously. And then, let's get a new filter back on. Right, so, oh, you don't want to do this too tight. Just hand tight. It does say uh, 20 newton meters. Uh, so there is a, a hex edge on the bottom here if you've got a, the, the, the correct oil cap to remove it, and then you can torque it up. But that'll do it. Uh, and that's the, it's dripping away now. That I've lifted it up again. Uh, but yeah, I've got most oil out, so I'm going to put put the bung back in. So if you buy a genuine oil filter, it will come with a new o-ring in the in the box. But uh, I bought Mali, so I didn't get. But I've got plenty of o-rings here, so I'll just put a new one on. The same size, uh, so I should stop it leaking. And now uh, it It's not orientation specific, so. Push it in and give it a half turn and it walks into place and then don't forget to push in your split pin and 
I'll give that a squirt with uh, brake cleaner as well and give that a clean up. Now it's all cleaned up. A bit of view in case you can't see. But yeah, you can see the split pin, just push it back. Then a half turn anti-clockwise and then that pulls out. Um, it's quite easy actually. <laughs> And I was moaning about this uh, plug at the start, but oh, it's actually quite a good idea. As long as you replace the O-ring, I, I can't see any issues. Um, and, the, and the sump's plastic, but that's a moon for another day. But yeah, it's pretty simple. We'll go and put some fresh oil in there. Um, we'll find out how much oil it takes. Right, so 0 0.30 for this. So it's a 2 litre, this engine code is an AHX Well I'm sure the oil's the same uh, It takes 5.5 litres apparently We'll put the first 5 in Now it's 5.5 litres I've put in It's up to the max mark on the dipstick so I'm just going to fire up, let it run for a bit, warm up and then let it cool down and, and just double check the oil and you should be good to go.